Do you have horses grazing pasture that includes a high percentage of soteria? If so, keep watching because I'm going to share with you why soteria should be, really be considered toxic for horses and what you can do to help your horses avoid developing big head when they eat this grass. Soteria grasses contain high levels of a compound known as oxalate and that binds to the calcium found in the plant making it unavailable for the horse to absorb and this can result in horses developing big head. Big head is essentially a severe calcium deficiency resulting from not enough calcium being absorbed from the diet. So when there isn't enough calcium being absorbed the horse will end up taking calcium from their bones to maintain their blood calcium levels. And if this calcium deficiency occurs for an extended period of time, they will end up taking so much calcium from their bones that they become brittle and weak. Quite often the first sign that big head is an issue is when a horse fractures a bone. So to help avoid big head, it's important to remember that when horses are grazing high oxalate pastures, they need to be given extra dietary calcium to keep the calcium to oxalate ratio above 0.5 parts calcium to one part oxalate. Now to give you an indication of how bad Soteria is, grasses like Buffalo and Kaikuyu readily cause big head in horses and they have an oxalate content of around 15 grams per kilo of dry matter. Now depending on the type of Soteria, with Kazungla being the worst, Soteria can contain anywhere between 30 and 80 grams per kilo of oxalate, which means that a huge amount of extra calcium is needed to balance the ratio and prevent the development of big head. There also seems to be a bit of an old wives tale going around that if you mow or slash Soteria that it makes it safer. However, if you look up information on Soteria on the Tropical Forages website, it will tell you that oxalate levels are higher in fresh growth and is also exacerbated by nitrogen and potassium fertilization. So when you constantly slash grass, you are keeping it at that fresh growth stage and therefore at the level with the highest amount of oxalate. Interestingly, the highest oxalate levels also occur at night and the lowest in the mid afternoon. So if you do have horses grazing soteria, you need to be very mindful that you provide enough calcium to balance the calcium to oxalate ratio while maintaining the calcium to phosphorus and the calcium to magnesium ratio. Giving your horse time off high oxalate pasture and providing them with loose and hay are also great strategies to help them absorb more calcium. Don't forget that when giving your horse a supplement that about three times more calcium will be needed for horses grazing Soteria species as compared to when they're on buffalo or Kaikuyu pasture. And don't forget that all other mineral requirements will also need to be met to help maintain overall health and bone strength. Megamin Bone Defender is a top-up supplement designed to provide extra calcium, phosphorus, magnesium and vitamin D to assist in maintaining or balancing the calcium to oxalate ratio for horses grazing subtropical pastures. Bone Defender comes with a very detailed feeding guide that factors in the horse's requirements for calcium in relation to its weight, workload, reproductive status and age. And this guide also considers the extra calcium required to balance the extremely high levels of oxalate found in Soteria species. We can also assist horse owners in ensuring that their animals are receiving a well-balanced diet by offering Megamin Equine Supplement customers a free feed review analysis and discussion to help fine tune their horse's requirements. For more information on Megamin Equine Supplements, visit our website agsolutions.com.au, follow our Ag Solutions Australia Equine Facebook page, or contact our head office on 1800 81 57 57. And don't forget to ask for Megamin Bone Defender and Megamin Equine Enhancer at your preferred store. Megamin Equine Supplements, you will see the difference.